Do you find the sniper's SMG underwhelming? Do you hate spies and find the Razorback unsatisfactory to your needs? Do you wish to subject your foes to golden showers? If you said yes to any of the following, I have the guide for you. How Yin's doing, I'm an Ian, and this is my TF2 How to Kill Streak series, where we look at the best and worst TF2 has to offer, and I show you how to get a kill streak with it. Because everything is a bad idea until it works. Today, as Yin's could tell from reading the title of this video, we'll be covering the Jurati. So without further ado, let's get into it. Opening day at the world's first two story outhouse! Oh god, stop! The Jurati is an unlockable weapon for the Sniper acquired from the Sniper Milestone 2 achievement, which is quite ironic since approximately about a seventh of all the achievements the Sniper has are locked behind using this weapon specifically. Now one would suspect that a jar of human urine would be an inferior weapon to have in your secondary slot when your alternatives consist of a backpack that regenerates your health, the ability to become immune to afterburn and backstabs respectively, as well as your choice between not one, but two SMGs. However, when playing in coordinated teams, the Jurati is unquestionably the sniper's best secondary to pick. This is because not only is the Jurati great at tracking down spies since it creates a nice area of effect that, if the spy is caught in even while cloaked, will cause them to glow yellow with your urine, making it very easy for players to see where they are, but players who you inflict with the Jurati's debuff will be subjected to mini crits from all sources, regardless of what class they were playing in the first place. Better still, this jar can be used to extinguish both yourself and your teammates, and you should do so whenever the opportunity presents itself. There are many reasons why you should do this, and I shall illuminate three. Firstly, when you extinguish your teammates, it recharges the weapon faster. Secondly, this is an easy way to spy check an entire group of teammates with minimal effort. And the last reason I shall bother to mention here right now is that keeping your teammates alive as long as possible is generally a good idea. I know most of you watching this video unironically probably don't care about that detail, but it's probably the most important thing I will say in this entire video. Moving on to the subject of getting a kill streak with this weapon, the most common tactic you will see is players using it alongside the Bushwaka. This is because the Bushwaka gives you guaranteed critical hits on players when you would normally get mini crits, such as with the Jurati. The only downside to this combo is when you're trying to use the Bushwaka, you're subjected to 20% damage vulnerability, meaning so long as your melee is deployed while using this tactic, you will take more damage. So before you go charging in for that juicy melee kill, make sure that you can actually close the gap on your opponents before they can gun you down. And if you're going for a kill streak, make sure you have an escape route too, because while getting that melee kill might be awesome, it's not going to help you get a kill streak if you die immediately after. And if you're wondering what's so tempting about these juicy melee kills, remember, when you hit someone with the Bushwhacker while they're under the effects of Jurati, you're dealing 195 damage with a single swing of your melee weapon. For some perspective, for those of you who don't know the exact damage numbers, this means that if we ignore weapons that increase your maximum health, as well as the medic's overheal, the only classes that can survive a single swing of the Bushwhacker while boosted with the effects of Jurati are Soldier and Heavy and the soldier is only surviving that by 5 health. So if that soldier took any damage whatsoever for, say, rocket jumping up to the front lines, yeah, he's gonna die to this combo anyway. In fact, the Bushwaka Jurati combo is so powerful that I can only think of four reasons not to use the Bushwaka when using the Jurati. The first reason I can think of are for players who hate this combo so much that they refuse to use it themselves out of principle which, given that the Jurati only takes 20 seconds to fully recharge, is understandable. The second reason I can think of is for players who are trying to go achievement hunting for the Jurati Chop achievement, where you need to get a kill on a player under the effects of Jurati with your stock melee. Don't worry, the frying pan counts. The third reason I can think of is you're a new player who hasn't gotten the Bushwhacker from a random drop yet, which, we've all been there, there's no shame in that. And the fourth and final reason I can think of not to use this combo is that you have an evasive target you can't reliably kill with your primary, but is also able to consistently stay out of your melee range. This will usually be a scout. But sometimes you might end up with a spy that knows how to use their gun. But that last one's more of a reason why you shouldn't use the Jurati 24-7, rather than a reason not to use the Bushwhacker along it, let's be honest with ourselves here. 
After all, when using your Jurati, you're kind of out of options when dealing with mid-range targets who stay out of melee distance, meaning you will have to either get good at quickscoping opponents at close quarters, or use a different secondary if this starts to become a consistent issue. Of course, this issue can be completely invalidated if you decide to place your sniping perch somewhere where teammates are consistently running back and forth from, such as a sentry nest. Speaking of your team, don't be afraid to use this weapon to help them out every now and then. Not only does its comically short 20 second recharge time mean that you're gonna have it back in a gif once you need it, but its recharge time is further reduced if you extinguish burning teammates. Speaking of recharging the Jurati's already comically short recharge time, if you use this weapon alongside the Sydney Sleeper, landing headshots with this weapon will actually make it recharge even faster. Meaning that not only is pissing all over your enemies in every way possible an actual thing you can do in-game, but it's actually a viable tactic in pubs. However, don't be afraid to use your primary weapon of choice with snipers, since the Jurati is such a good weapon that it'll work with literally any primary weapon. It's just that good. I personally used the Huntsman for the majority of the time I spent recording this video because it put me in range to actually use the Jurati with the Bushwhacker in order to get some good kills in for the video. However, if your goal is to go on a kill streak as Sniper, you'll ideally be so far in the back that you'll be outside of your secondary weapon's effective range. However, things don't always go to plan. Sometimes a spy or his son shows up out of nowhere. Sometimes a trolder just comes out of the air screaming at you. Sometimes a Demo Knight forces you into melee via the power of shrimping. And sometimes you see the entire enemy team trying to go down a choke point while your own team's gibbous noobs try to charge at them. So if you're the kind of player who likes to switch between your secondary and melee weapons in rapid succession to get some cheeky kills, or if you just want to help your team out by giving them a damage buff against enemy opposition, well then, the Jurati just might be the right weapon for you. All in all, I give the Jurati a perfect plan B out of 10. It's not always the best answer, but it's never a wrong answer, and every sniper player in TF2 should at least consider using this thing. That's all for now. Like the video if you did, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one, comment what weapons you want to see me cover in the future, and if you feel like going the extra mile, consider going to my community tab where you can vote on what weapons I cover in the future. Because while what I do next is decided by these community polls, what ends up on those polls is decided by you, the commenters. I've been an Ian, and this has been my TF2 How to Kill Streak Guide to the Jurati. And stay tuned, the medic's melee weapons are coming up next.